Hey guys, welcome to Bambi TV. So today we're going to be reacting to one of the suggestions. Guys, today we're going to be reacting to why Islam do not allow men and women to pray side by side in the mask. Guys, what do you think? Like, this is actually a question that I've been in my mind since. So guys, like, me reacting to this as I allows me to explore a lot. Like, make research, ask people, talking about religion, like, it's just so awesome. Like, you've seen people point of view, you ask people things and they're like, like, I can remember when I asked a friend, do you know Trinity is not mentioned in the Bible? Like, are you sure? Like, it's just amazing. Like, like it kind of makes you know, be conscious of some things. Like, it's so amazing. Guys, this video is actually sponsored by Nuji, guys. Guys, they are founded in 2014. Their main focus is on creating creative, comfortable, and casual clothing. Guys, like, it's amazing. Like when you talk about new chick, you talk about quality. Like they are hand in hand, guys. I feel new chick is supposed to be one of the best store out there. We sell quality for cheap price, guys. Like they sell quality for the best affordable price, guys. You need to check them out, guys. Let's get straight into this. And if you want to check them out, guys, that link is in the description below. When you use my promo code, you get fifteen percent discount, guys. Like it's amazing. Just check it. My promo code. It's amazing, guys. Guys, let's get straight into this. Yes, ma'am. The question was, <laughs> when do the women come to pray? See, the obligation to pray, as well as every other religious obligation, which is incumbent upon the man, is also incumbent upon the woman. But there is what is called a segregation of the sexes in Islam. Men and women are not allowed to freely intermingle. So in the absence of a separate facility, they pray at home. There are certain mosques which have certain separate facilities, like this particular one here. Unfortunately, you know, the way from the very beginning it was built, it didn't have that facility. But now, the free intermingling is that which is not allowed. Otherwise, everything the man does, the woman must do. Fasting, prayer, going on a pilgrimage, giving charity, whatever the man does, the woman must do the same. But now, you might not have had the chance of coming through that section there where we make ablution. So you might have coming straight in there. That other side, you saw the catch there, seats there. Going out time, you can have a look. So the men and the women must go through the same process. And imagine you must sit there, you making your attention there. And I'm waiting for my turn. Because at prayer time, there's always a queue behind every time. Because there's certain fixed times and everybody tries to make it, you know, as short as possible, how to get it quickly to fit into the time slot. So you making your evolution and I'm waiting for my turn. For example, and I can assure you, madam, that as old as I am, <laughs> I see the lady, you know, sitting there, washing her dresses around, you know, the nape of the neck, lifting up her legs, washing her feet. I said, you know, number one, you won't feel comfortable. With a man sitting on your right hand side and a man sitting on your left hand side, and some place with a man sitting across there, you're lifting up your legs and washing your feet, you might be wearing a hot pant, you know, you won't, you won't be at ease. Yeah. Then, there's a man sitting That's on your right hand, a man sitting on your left hand side, and there's a guy waiting from behind, you know, he's watching, say, lovely dresses this lady has got, what lovely arms she's got. This is man, any man. <laughs> Unless he's a lunatic, or something else is wrong with him. <laughs> Look, this is how God made man. Then, you might have witnessed as in prayer, everybody standing shoulder to shoulder. Because the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he said that when you stand up for prayer, you must not leave gaps for the devil to get in between you and your brother. Now the devil that he was talking about was not the guy we see in the art gallery, museum complex, you know, city hall. You go upstairs, second floor there, and you see the paintings by great artists. There is one huge painting there of a beautiful woman, well proportioned with wings. She's got a wand in her hand. She's directing the devil to go to hell, and you can see the devil flying off. In the picture you can show all that. Hellfire in the distance, and the devil is flying off. And this devil has got ruddy complexion, red, red, red. He's got horns, he's got sharp ears, he's got a tail with a barbed hook. <laughs> it's worth seeing. Some great artist has done that job. I said, now you know, a devil like that, if you saw it, you run for dear life. <laughs> me too, me too. Yes. Muhammad wasn't talking about that. He was talking about you, yourself, we, ourselves. 
So you see, I am white, he's black. I am rich, he's poor. That devil must not be allowed to come in between you and your brother. So you stand shoulder to shoulder. My brother can't get away from me and I can't get away from him. But instead of my brother, you my sister standing next to me. And I said, Allahu Akbar. So Allah is the greatest. But nice cushy feeling. Nice and warm. <laughs> I'm wondering whether she's not the greatest. <laughs> no, this is the human mind, how it works. Then we stand it's rows and rows behind each other, as you have seen, rows and rows behind. And my sister, she's standing in front of me there, in the row, and I'm behind her, I say, Allahu Akbar. I say, Allah is the greatest. This is 36, 24, 36. <laughs> Look, this is man, any man. Unless he's a lunatic, or there's something else wrong with him. <laughs> this is how God made man. You know, the thing that allures him most on this earthly existence is woman. And I don't have to prove it to the Westerner. To you people, I don't have to prove it. You know it, this weakness of man. And your people are using it to the limit. Look, Lucian Motors, Smith Street Durban. They sell, sec sell second-hand trucks. But on the trucks that they advertise, there's a woman in the bikini on top of the truck. <laughs> then G North. They move from Field Street to North Bean. G North, they sell second-hand truck, uh, 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 tractors. They sell tractors. And on the tractor that they advertise, a woman in the bikini on top of the tractor. I'm asking, what has a woman in the bikini got to do with a second-hand truck or with a tractor? <laughs> Except the man. You see, he'll be enticed to read that advert because of that woman. Yeah. And then BMW has beaten the law. That is market strategy. <laughs> BMW. Is the motor car supposed to be a little better than the Mercedes-Benz? I'm not in the market for it. I had four Beatles, you know I spoke about Beatles. Four Beatles motor cars, one after another. And then they <laughs> did with the Beatles, I was forced to buy a Golf. I'm still not in the market for a BMW. But a BMW Edward in our daily news attracted me. What's the Edward? BMW, illustration of a beautiful BMW motor car. In front of the motor car, there's a woman in the skimpiest bikini, what you call the tanga, the G-string. <laughs> And she's standing in a lustful, enticing pose. <laughs> and at the bottom is written, test drive her now. <laughs> Who? Who? The woman of the car. She's buying the car. No, the buyer car. So what are you doing to your women for? You see the Westerner, he sells his mother, he sells his wife, he sells his daughter, he sells his sister. Everything is for sale. To him, anything, his wife is a star. You know, he's proud, his wife is a star. She's being, you know, bruised on the screen. The guy is simulating sex with her on the screen and he can enjoy saying, so my wife is a star. So what has happened to you? Your sense of values. Your mother is a star. Your daughter is a star. This is the Holy Prophet Muhammad, he said, that women, they are your mothers and your sisters and your daughters and your aunts. They are to be loved, respected, cherished and protected. They are not for sale. So, according to our system, this Free intermingling is a thing that is not allowed. But if there is a separate facility, like in the Gray Street Mosque now in Durban, they have a separate facility, separate entrance, separate place for ablution, everything is separate. They are in the mosque and yet out of the mosque, allowed. Only the free intermingling is not permitted now. But the obligation is on the man as well as the woman to pray. Like, share and subscribe to Guys. This is amazing. Like this is actually one one of the videos I watched and I, I just loved it. Like it was funny, it was educative and it was amazing. Like I feel it's true. Like if a man and a woman is together praying, like you came there to pray and I don't feel you'd be tempted to but like so men will be. Like when you see them watching that like he, he just made a good point, like so we won't be tempted and it's fact like being we tend to be tempted and I feel it's not nice, like you separating them like it's better for you to prevent something before it happens like prevention is better than cure so I feel that concept is actually very very amazing and like it is it's good like you trying to prevent it before you start hearing stories it's just so amazing guys make sure to like share subscribe to my channel guys make sure to check out new chick guys they made this video possible so check them like the link is in my description box guys just click on it and check it if you want something like this you're gonna see it right there guys i'll see you next time guys Bye.